coming up on Tiger Vision News, the Course Fair, Black Panther, and Star Wars. All this and much more on Tiger Vision News. Good morning, my name is Leah Moreno. And I'm Cordo Little. Good morning, Tigers. Today is Wednesday, February 7th, 2018. Don't forget, Student Council is selling tardy passes at all lunches to raise money for the local Children's Miracle Network. Students, you may purchase up to three passes for $10 each. These passes may be used to either erase a tardy or prevent one and can be redeemed at either office until the end of the school year. Also, tomorrow, Thursday, February 8th, FHS is hosting the course fair from 5.30 to 7.30. Incoming and current high school students are encouraged to come and find out more information about courses for the 2018-2019 school year. If you were not able to buy a Valentine's Day rose yesterday in the cafeteria, don't fret. They will be selling the roses tomorrow. For all you aspiring cheerleaders out there, there will be a mandatory informational meeting on February 15th at 6.30, so make sure not to miss this. Make plans to have dinner as a selfless act by supporting a fundraiser of SCCLA. Tuesday, February 20th, come into the Chipotle on Quaker Avenue from 4 to 8. Show this flyer on your phone or tell the cashier you're supporting the cause. Tap 50% of the proceeds donated to the FCCLA family. The flyer can be found on the FHS Twitter page. That's all for Friendship News. Now let's head over to Dawson with the World News. Thanks, Cordell. Hi, I'm Dawson Baker here with your World News. The SpaceX project that Elon Musk started has finally launched into space. The Falcon X, Elon Musk's rocket, was in orbit for nearly two whole days. Falcon X has successfully landed back on Earth today. Two out of three landed safely, and the third member crash landed in the ocean. Elon Musk is finally ready to begin his launch to Mars. Obama wants to know everything about the latest text messages. Newly revealed text messages between FBI Peter Strzok and Lisa Page include an exchange about preparing talking points for then-FBI Director James Comey give to Obama, who wants to know everything. Black Panther pounces onto Marvel's top tier. African-American superheroes have reached the screen before, but seeing the collective weight of Marvel's Black Panther feels like a cultural watershed. Black Panther alone would be an impressive feat, but really excels thanks to its rich array of characters, and performances. Black Panther hits the theater next Friday. That's all for World News. Now let's head to Juliet with the weather. Hey, Friendship, I'm Daniel Kim here with your two-day forecast. Today is February 7th, 2018. Today is a high of 52 and a low of 28. Tomorrow is a high of 66 and a low of 36. Both days have a 0% chance of rain. And that's all for today. Have a great day and stay warm, friendship. Hello, Tigers. I'm Zachariah Mata, and this is Friendship Sports Zone. The girls' basketball team are finished with district and ready for playoffs. The Lady Tigers fell to Midland this last game, but they are still the district champs. Cassandra Awat led the night with 12 points, followed by Macy Maddox with 8 points and Aubrey Godfrey with 11 rebounds. The Lady Tigers play the El Dorado Aztecs in by district Tuesday, February 13th at 6 p.m. in Andrews. Boys basketball led an exciting game. The Tigers were back and forth in points between the Midland Lee Rebels and Tuesday night, but were able to show off the talent of the team. The Tiger defense held strong, but the offense was stronger. The Tigers took win over the Rebels, 62 to 48. The Tigers recorded now moves to 15 to 18 overall and 3 to 6 in district. Next game is this Friday as they travel to Midland to take on the Midland High Bulldogs. First tip is 7:30 p.m. Girls soccer outshine the competition. The girls Tigers soccer team is preparing hard this week as district begins this Friday. The Tiger program has done well this preseason and are ready for a great run in district. The girls travel to Odessa this Friday with first kick at 5.30 against Odessa High. Boys soccer is prepping for district as well. The Tigers soccer boys are working hard in preseason and they are ready for district. 
The boys are going against Odessa High in Odessa on Friday as they kick off at 7.30 p.m. Baseball starts their presentation today, and the teams are ready for action. The baseball teams have been working hard in the offseason and are ready to show it off on the field. JV teams travel to Cooper to take on the Pirates today at 4 p.m., and the varsity group travels tomorrow to Woodrow to take on the Pirates at 4 p.m. as well. That's all for Friendship Sports. Have a great week, Tigers, and let's go back to Leah and Cordell. Thanks, Zach. Now let's send it off to our entertainment team. Hello, welcome back to the entertainment segment. My name is Tanner. Today I'm going to talk about Solo, a Star Wars story. So it follows Han Solo during his early years and before the episode four. It shows how he meets Lando Calrissian and uh, Chewbacca. Now let's react to the trailer. <laughs> okay. So uh, there's Han Solo just running. So they showed some of these clips during the Super Bowl. Oh, there's Lando. Chewie. Also comes up summer. Only the Millennium Falcon has a new look. Yeah, they definitely changed the look of the Millennium Falcon. Wow, so he he was originally going to be a part of the Empire. Okay, so I like the trailer. Uh, I'm definitely excited because I don't have to wait till the end of the year to watch it. Uh, I mean, the fact that they're actually going to be showing off uh, his early years is going to make it even better. The actor for Chewbacca is going to be the same. At least that's what I've read. And so, yeah, yeah. thanks for watching. Thanks, entertainment team. So, are you guys excited to watch the new Han Solo movie? Yeah, I'm like pretty excited. Mm. I've only seen a couple, so can not say for sure if I'm going to watch it. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for tuning in to Tiger Vision News, and have a great day.